very much. Yes, our Wire Not Home Services three degree guarantee where every month we highlight a different local nonprofit and make a difference with a little bit of fun through our forecast. Uh, Becky Treese is here. She's the Chief Development Officer with The Place. You guys, we were highlighting in October, and I'm going to come back to you in a second, but Trent Urban from Wire Not Home Services is here. And Trent, I want to start with you because I was doing some totaling this morning. Okay. Do you know that by the end of the year here, we will have donated more than $75,000 to our community through this program. Isn't that I have awesome? Not, but actually, yeah, that's something I should have done. I should Isn't that have beat cool? you to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty cool. neat. Uh, why yeah. is it important for WireNut to be part of this program? So you ask me, but actually Becky asked me in a different way uh, before we came on, and I told her it's something I haven't ever been asked. And uh, I don't know, maybe we just kind of fell into this, but it's something that's important to me. For one, I grew up here. My I've got three boys. They were all born here. Mm -hmm. This is a city that I want to see endure in a good way right. and uh, be unique. And so far, we're doing a good job of that. We have our problems, you know. Anybody that drives on the roads knows those problems. Right. <laughs> but otherwise, we have a pretty good, uh, pretty good city, and I want to see it stay that way and stay healthy. And in order to do that, we have to pour into it, and we have to help, and we have to you know, pitch in. And so while I've got a business that's successful by most of the metrics, the outside, you know, looking in and that kind of thing, sure. and it's good inside too, but with all those blessings in my life, I, I would be, I don't know what the word is other than... Remiss if you didn't remiss, give yeah. back and help. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So 75,000, that's Isn't pretty that cool. cool. That's yeah, cool. I was yeah. excited. Let's keep it going. When I saw that, yeah, we should. Uh, Becky, let's, let's turn to you. What role is the place playing with youth in our community to, to help our city be great, as Trent said? Thanks, Matt. Uh, the place serves youth ages 15 to 24 who might be at risk of or experiencing homelessness. Okay. And we do that through a shelter program that serves youth that are 15 to 20. 20 and 364 days when they turn 21 we have to find another location for okay. them okay. so we have that shelter program that's kind of an entry point to get folks off the street and into a safe space but then we also work with them to find long-term housing solutions so that they can hopefully stay stable, stable and self-sufficient through their their lives and then our outreach team is really amazing they're going out and trying to find youth who are still on the street and welcome them into our program so that we can hopefully help them on their way Wow, so how, how many are we talking? We serve about 600 youth in a year, anywhere between 600 and 650 across the different programs. In our shelter okay. alone, it's about 180 youth that we shelter throughout the year. Wow, I think Trent would agree with me that as a parent, like yeah. with kids in that age range, that is heartbreaking how, how they get into that situation. So what is, what's the biggest need you guys have? Like what will this money that we're giving you today what will it go toward? Well, it's going to go towards a lot of things, but more than anything, it's about meeting the youth where they are and offering a sense of belonging for them so that we can build trust and work with them on their own plans because they're going to know what's best for them more than we do. Okay. But to your point, if you've got teenagers, uh, we have a shelter with 20 teenagers in it. Do you know how hard it is to feed 20 teenagers at uh, once? Yes, I do. I know how hard it is to feed two, so <laughs> I, get, I get it. So we actually invest a lot of money in just food. Yeah. Uh, we do work with partners like Care and Share Food Bank in order to get some low-cost foods. But again, 20 teenagers all in one dorm, mm. it's kind of a lot of food. So. No. This money goes a long way on some of those basic needs as well as some of the bigger things like aspirational goals about college. My goodness sake. So, Trent, coming back to you here, you know, you hear the lack of a home. Right. I mean, that you got to have the basics to get going in the right way, right? Yeah, and even, even if you take it beyond the basics, it's like the, the comfort zone, or you called it a safe space, whatever, but the comfort zone of knowing you have something that can be trusted, and usually you get that from your parents. Well, if you don't have parents delivering that for you for whatever reason, you didn't choose that as a kid. Right. Here you are stuck in that situation, and, and we were talking about it. I guess a lot of them don't have trust in adults as a result, so they have to break through just on that just to get them to accept even the help. Right. It's a, that's a pretty big deal. And if yeah. there's somebody that delivers, deserves that help, I think you've found that. Yeah, that's, well. a, that's amazing. Well, thanks for making this big donation possible. We're going to do the check presentation in a second. But if someone is like, wow, I didn't know there was that much need for this, this population in our community. They want to learn more about you guys. Maybe they want to donate or they want to help volunteer. How can they do that? The best place to find more information is on the website, theplacecos.org theplacecos.org. You see it up on your screen there. Uh, super, super easy to do. All right.
The part that I love the most is making the difference. So let's bring in Joey from Wire Not Home Services in with the check. And you can see this month, $1,620. Joey, thank you very much. If you have a local nonprofit important to you, you want to, them to be part of the Three Degree Guarantee, go to our website, search the Three Degree Guarantee. Trent, thank you so much. Becky, thank you so much. And Joey, thank you so much. I always <laughs> like when you're in here. We'll be back right after this. I've got weather coming up. Stay tuned.